y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today is thursday may 28th and today i am going to be filming a vlog so today is just a day that i have a bunch of stuff on my to-do list that needs to get done so i am going to take y'all along with me because it should be a fun old day let's get to it Obviously, the first thing on the agenda this morning is to make myself a cup of iced coffee. I'm feeling a little bit tired this morning, so hopefully this will put a little pep in my step. So, I just have some leftover coffee from yesterday that I'm using. I'm going to add a little splash of my heavy cream. And lastly, I have my stevia. And I just do a little squirt to sweeten it up. Now I am just going to stir this up, pop on my lid, and we are ready to go. We got some visitors in the backyard this morning. Some of the Moo Moos are out here watching me and the dogs as I take them potty. Look at the cute little babies. They're getting so big. Hey guys. Look at this little Bobo peeking out the window as I walk to go check on my plants. Is that not the saddest face you have ever seen? Oh my golly. Today marks day five with Lake Catherine out here on the side of our yard. Yeah, we got a little bit more rain yesterday, but yeah, it is still deep out here. I don't know how long this is going to take to drain off. But y'all, this is deep. Oh my God, this is not good. This is going to be mosquito haven out here. This is a lot of water. Ugh. And I think my poor squash is a goner. I'm really upset about that. There's currently a guy in a Spider-Man suit dancing on the street corner. All right, get it, man, get it. Bo is out of dog food, so one stop on my agenda today is to run into Petco and grab him some dog food. In my last video I posted, I had a couple of sassy responses about people accusing me of not wearing a mask out in public and endangering people, and I didn't even show my face. Whenever we have been going into stores lately, we are always wearing a mask. I think it's super important to do our part and wearing a mask is not a hassle by any means. So yes, I wear a mask when we go out in public. All right. All right, let's go get some dog food. 12 seconds later. Of course, as soon as I walked out of Petco, the bottom fell out and it is pouring rain. I didn't even think rain was expected today, but it's pouring. And I got a little bit wet on my dash to my truck, but yeah, dog food is secured. Can you believe that this 18 pound bag of dog food just cost me $43? Oh my golly, why are dogs so expensive? The rain just isn't letting up. It's been pouring for an hour and everything is flooding even more than it already was. So that's, that's not any good. I am starting to get hungry, but there's nothing for me to cook. I have some eggs, but I'm currently going through a I don't want to eat eggs phase. It kind of comes and goes. Sometimes I like eggs, sometimes I don't. And right now, Eggs just don't sound good to me. So what I did was make myself another cup of iced coffee and maybe that'll hold me over for a little while and I may have to go pick up food from somewhere or run to the grocery store. I don't know, but I can't leave the house in the middle of this really bad thunderstorm. I was so hungry I couldn't function, so I talked Cody into taking me to Burger King. I got a grilled chicken club salad, but I got home and realized they gave me crispy chicken but i'm so hungry i don't care it's just going to be a couple extra carbs for the day it won't kill me and then i'm just going to use some of their ranch dressing and that is going to be the first meal of the day i've always wanted a pond in my yard look i even have fish how is there a fish in my front yard what the actual heck there is all kinds of nature in my front pond right now this is a little stick bug. I don't think he's a water bug, so I'm about to go put him on dry land for now. This is to document just how deep this water is. It is like maybe two inches from the top of my rain boots. 
We literally have like a foot deep pond in our front yard. Update, we found a drain in the yard and it was clogged. So we just pulled all the grass out of it, moved some rocks out of the way. And as you can see, it is slowly draining out through these holes right here. It is currently about 6.30 and me and the pepperonis, we got Bo and Cooper, we just pulled up to my parents' house. So, I have not filed my taxes yet and I know the deadline is coming soon. So, me and my dad are about to sit down and decide if we can do this on our own or if I've got to find a CPA. Because filing taxes when you're self-employed is very difficult. So, what we're going to do is go figure it out. Should be one fun time. Oh, taxes, so much fun. Oh. While I'm over here at my parents' house, I thought it would be a good time to update y'all on our little garden because it is flourishing. So this is the only bell pepper on this plant, but look at it, it's a full grown bell pepper. And then over here, we have some jalapeno peppers. We actually cooked with some of these the other day, the ones that were ripe. This plant has been loaded with them. We've got more jalapenos over here and lots of tomatoes. There's some more bell peppers over on this bush. Look, there's some red ones in there. We may be about ready to pick those. And lots more tomatoes on this plant. This has been so much fun to grow all of these. Hey cutie, how are you doing this evening? You are the most adorable thing in the entire world, aren't you? Yeah, I know, you can agree. Good night, little one. <laughs> the next day now and last night after I went over to my parents house and worked on taxes I came home and crashed so this morning Cody and I got up and we loaded up my truck full of all kinds of crap and we've been driving all day and just made it to Alabama so in a couple of days we are headed over to Panama City Beach because I'm doing some promotional filming with a fishing charter company down there and it should be a really great time. But we're gonna be gone like eight days and we have so much stuff in the car, but I had to bring literally everything. So I have tripods, I have our drone, I got GoPros, I got cameras. So there should be some really fun videos coming to my channel super soon. Cody just ran into the country corner to pick up some drinks and we just have a short drive until we make it to his parents' house. I am so ready to get out of this car. Good trigger fish. Not what we're after, folks, but uh, take it all day. It's just not the season for them. We'll have to release this guy. Nice. Nice one, Cat. Today marks day four of filming this vlog. 
So I know it has been all over the place, but I've just had some footage from the past couple of days and I just decided to throw it all together and make it into a vlog. The vlog started out in Baytown and then we ended up coming to Alabama and then yesterday we went snapper fishing. Red snapper is an incredibly tasty fish. It is so, so good. And there's only a couple of days a year that you can fish for them. So we ended up going out with some of Cody's friends. We went deep sea fishing, caught our red snapper, but oh my golly, did I get seasick. It was the worst thing ever. I've never really gotten seasick. There's been a time or two I've gotten queasy, but yesterday I took Dramamine, which is motion sickness medicine. I got out there, started feeling bad, so I took a nausea medicine and I was absolutely miserable. I am scared to jump in deep water, but jumping in the water helps you feel a little less sick. So my booty jumped overboard and was floating in the water to do anything to make me feel a little bit better. But as soon as we got in the boat and it was moving, I was okay, but the time we were out there fishing, whoo, your girl got so, so sick. I am hoping that in a couple of days I'm going to do a vlog cooking the red snapper. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this super mishmashed vlog of my crazy past couple of days. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.